Hello guys, this is Exposing Ghosts. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Today talk will be false prophet John MacArthur exposed. 666. Matthew 23, 13. But won't you strive the fairest of hypocrites? For you ship the kingdom of heaven against men. For you need to go in yourself, ye you serve ye them that are in to go in. Isaiah 5, 21. Warn to them that are wise in their own eyes and perfect in their own sight. Luke 6, 26. Warn to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their father the false prophet. Matthew 24, 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit where there are God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. John MacArthur, John MacArthur. This man is one of the worst modern day false prophets I've ever seen. John MacArthur really thinks that someone can take the mark of the beast and be saved. The Bible gives a, gives a great big one about the mark of the beast and the judgment of God upon the people who took the mark of the beast. I'm going to play a clip and expose this hell-bound, unsaved, goat heretic bastard that John McCarthy is. So here goes. When, when men would be required to have the mark of the beast in order to buy or sell. My question is, uh, once a person takes the mark, is there any possibility of him coming to Christ? Yes. Uh, I think, you know, in, in the seven-year tribulation coming in the future, we're going to get into this so probably a week from Sunday night, maybe this Sunday night, maybe a week, I'm not sure. But... Um, the tribulation is a seven-year period, right? The rapture of the church, seven-year tribulation, then Christ returns, sets up his kingdom. Now, in that seven-year period, really two things happen. God begins to judge the world in, with a series of holocausts, and at the same time, he begins to redeem his people, Israel. And in the process of this, the Antichrist establishes his rule, and in order to function in the economy of the Antichrist, you have to take the mark of the beast. Now, the question is, if you're living in the tribulation period, and you take this mark, in other words, you identify with the beast's empire, will you still be able to be redeemed? And I think the answer to that is yes. Yes, otherwise there would be no salvation of anybody in the end of the tribulation. So I don't think the fact that someone takes that is a sentence to, it, to permanency any more than you being a part of this world system once in your life means you have to be a part of the system all your life. No one cannot deny this here. John MacArthur openly admitted in front of his congregation that they can take the mark of the beast and still be saved from God's wrath. And this is nothing but a lie and there is no truth in this man. If he believes this, let's see what the Bible says. Revelation 14, 9 to 11. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixing into the cup of his indigence. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment shall send up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image. And so ever received the mark of his name. The Bible said the people of the world will be warned beforehand not to take the mark, so there will be no excuse to God because God made sure and sent a warning. If you take that mark, that mark will be your destruction because now you are swearing allegiance to Satan, and not only that, you will face God's judgment and his vows of wrath. Revelation 16, 1 to 2. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angel, Go your way and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and rigorous sword upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. When God's vials were poured out, Everyone that took that mark will be punished, and there will be no escape from it because you are not a child of God, but or your father, the devil. John MacArthur would not stop his belligerent teachings, and many people defend this man 
as a Christian pastor, but reality is he is a bastard and a cabinet who got people to see and saying use these type of people to fool people. And I know that false prophet like Jamaica ought to build a large fan base and when someone on the outside says something that is real true, they run to his defense. This man more dangerous than Joe Osteen. We already know what Joe Osteen does and that he preaches another gospel. John McArt is a sneaky cabinet reprobate that got everyone fooled. He is destroying God's right in front of people and people are too blind to see it. Said Corinthians foe, foe. In whom the God of this world had blinded the mind of them which believe it not that the light of the glory of the gospel of Christ, who is, is the image of God, should shine unto them. John MacArthur has blinded millions and millions of people, and they believe will never take the mark because they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. So let John MacArthur be a curse. Let him go to hell. Let him drop down in hell. Let him fall down in the hell deeper. Because this man is nothing more than a heretic that damn people sold to hell with him. That's all I gotta say. May God bless.